Inquisitor, I'm afraid we got here a little late. The Venatori were already here. We assume they're moving on the temple. Oh, grand. Welcome back to more Inquisition. Today we are in the Forbidden Oasis. Tell me about the temple. Have you learned anything more about the temple? Sorry, we haven't been able to get close. Grand. Anything else? Anything else I should know? Not much to tell. A mining company out of Val used to have an interest here, but economies changed and they moved on. Strange the miners never marked the temple on their maps. Oh, and some of the scouts saw a giant roaming in the area. Keep your eyes open. Don't want you to get stepped on. Yeah, gee, thanks. You're really funny. Anyway, uh, here we are, as we know, um, as I stated in a previous episode. Um, I hadn't actually gone here yet. Um, Dispatch for you. Shut up. I don't care. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I, don't, I don't care about any of this. Um... Yeah, we haven't actually gone here yet, so this is the Forbidden Oasis. Um, it's a little bit like, um, an oasis. <laughs> In this direction, it's nothing, pretty much. There's some fade rifts, from what I remember, and there might be some shards. Um, this way is what's really important. I think, like, around here-ish, there's, um, a temple, which is the only reason I actually come here. Um, that's, that's pretty much it, and there's the giant, like they said. What I'm going to be doing... Uh, no, I, I don't have a moment. I want to... Where's Forbidden Oasis? There it is. Uh, 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 I don't know where the second camp is. It's over there. Okay, I trust you. Um, we'll get that on the way out. We're going to do this. We need to find the door. So, um, I think this place has one of the more easier accesses of the shards. Because it's all obviously in just just one general place, um, and it's all fair. This is the Venatory. Um, it's all fairly easy to get, but as I stated previously, I just don't really care. There's one. Zoom. There it is. Okay, how do I get out of this? There we go. Um. But yeah, as I said previously, I just don't really care. <laughs> um, I'm just going to utilize the shards that we have. It's probably not going to do much. Um, but yeah. So, like, right after we utilize all the shards here, unless it's like, oh, I have, you know. Thanks, K. Roman. You're a real... Fucking doozy. We also have uh, Varric, Cassandra, and Dorian with us today. Who we haven't really used much. Um, Cassandra, that is. Um, and quite a bit. There's Elizabeth's garden. Uh, and I think... Oh, I don't know. Well, like, if, if it's like, oh, you need one extra shard, I might as well grab one. But I... Just am not interested. <laughs> It's not extraordinarily helpful. Um, I'm just doing it to show you guys what that's up there is, and I don't really care. I'm just showing it to you guys because why not? You might as well see what it is. Um, Fade Rift in there, I think. There's a quest in there, from what I remember. I don't remember. But let's go kill the giant. I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of giants. Oh, the quest is right over here, right by the camp. Yeah, it's this woman. Someone else is here, or I'm. Who are you? Why are you following me? I'm just looking for stuff to salvage. I used to work here. But I know no one needs it. Let me introduce myself. I'm with the Inquisition. Been up here a while. But I'll assume that's important. Doesn't explain why you're following me. You came here to salvage? You salvage, came rather. Out here to salvage old mining equipment. Mostly, I wanted to go into this one cave. I used to store stuff there. Damn scheme wasn't overrun by spiders then. I put my wedding ring there. Couldn't stand the sight of these things. <laughs> but I couldn't throw it away either. Well, it was a stupid argument. Part of me knew I'd still want that ring. Great. I'll leave you be. Right. See you then. Yeah, and we can retrieve the ring, which we might as well just do. Um. 
No, I really don't care. Here's the giant. As you can see, he's quite the low level. Um. Yeah, and this is what happens when you're a really high level. <laughs> There's the giant. Thanks, my dude. <laughs> Is he gonna... There's the stuff. I think that's up. Yeah. See, there's nothing really of extreme use here. And that's really just because we're such a high level. Um, now, if I do remember correctly, I think the... The wastes... Whatever it was called. Okay, we have to go up here. Um, let me actually get the... There it is. Uh, what it's worth. Uh, one key. Uh, it's... I think we have to... We might have to go through this cave? Maybe? I don't know. Um, I forget in this game. Can you have multiple quests active? Pretty sure you can't. No, you can't. Oh well. What can you do? But yeah, that's this one of my main complaints about this game. <clears throat> and that's its uh, leveling system. So, obviously, it's not scaled. <laughs> and I, I just generally don't have... I have a problem with um, non-scaled uh, zones and stuff like that. Because it forces you to go one route all the time in every playthrough, and it's just kind of stupid. And if you want to go somewhere else, well, you have to be that level no matter what. And I'm okay with it being a few levels above you and then eventually scaling to your level, but, you know, in the case of this, obviously they, they aren't scaling at all. And, you know, that makes a zone like this, like, if we didn't have this temple here, it would be completely stupid for me to come. Howdy there, the name's K Roman. Okay. Hello, crate. Nope, don't want that. Anything else of particular use? Oops. Yeah, I charge by using an ocularium. Anything? Not really. Alright, let's read it. Ooh, words. Alright. Something feels wrong here worse by the door. Indeed. I feel it as well. We have a choice of whether to go down this main path, which I do forget what it utilizes. Or do I not actually have enough um, things? Did I really not care about that at all during this playthrough? I don't know. Oh, here we go. So, this is the spirit damage. You lose less spirit damage. English. Uh, this one's fire, and obviously the other one's frost. I went with frost in my previous playthrough. Where's the... Uh, what's that one? Oh, no, this is the... Yeah, okay. Uh, Dorian. My man. The man, the myth, the legend. Um... So, yeah, none of this is particularly useful at this point in the game. Of course, with my 90% um, this stuff, it really is not useful, but um, the only thing I can really see being useful at all is the fire. So, yeah. Oh, money. But yeah, you gotta f fight some people. <laughs> Ow. Oh, that hurt. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, what the hell? What am I taking damage from? Huh, that was weird. I think it's in this, if I remember correctly. Yeah, the... Yeah, fire resistance. I feel a bit strange. It went straight to you. Or to the mark, perhaps. It doesn't seem to have harmed you. If it wasn't a trap, what was it? If the enchantment at the entry was a test, this may be the reward. Alright, so the next one requires us to have that many shards. Um, obviously, I really just don't care either way. So, we, we got our, our basic one. It's pretty much the same thing at every level. Um, just the fire resistance goes up. That's essentially what happens. It's... I don't know if I would call it worth it at this point in the late game. Um, now, the I don't remember if the other one... I don't, was the other one requiring six shards or five? I don't know. Because I could just throw this one here. Oh yeah, I do. Alright, so I literally just need one here. So I might as well pick that up. While we're here. Just to say, oh hey. I also got the ice, so... We'll do that. But again, at this point in the game... Oh yeah, I think this is the final one. I never got to the final one, so I don't know what's there. You can honestly look it up. I, I don't really care. <laughs> That's the thing. But yeah, it's 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 neat. Um, I guess I do like it. Just it doesn't interest me when I have a ninety percent chance to res. You know. Yeah. Is this build OP? Eh, probably. It would easily work on um. You know, insanity difficulty. Um. But I don't really care. Boosh! The name's K Roman. Cut through here. That's right. Let's see what is up yonder. I should probably stop doing that. Um, but, uh, yeah. That's this zone, pretty much. There's nothing else. I want to do this wedding ring quest. Um, then we'll be moving on to the next place. Solasan. Something detected us. What could it be, you say? Beats the hell out of me. I just work here. Oh, mandatory. Here we go. Howdy, folks. Wow, he... He just got potatoed. Holy crap. The other one's down there. Let's just see where the other ones are. Again, if we really wanted to try, we could... Very easily do it, but it would be... It, it's not... Like, this isn't interesting. Right, me collecting these. It's it's not good gameplay. <laughs> but I do wonder what this is. Nothing? Just like a thing? I don't know. The cold and dead. And we can probably wrap over here to go to that dungeon. Oh, that's the woman. Rip bunny. You poor potato. Oh, I can, I can charge for quite a bit. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'd be out of breath if I wore, was wearing, you know, 40 pounds of armor. Having to carry, you know, a, an approximately 5 pound sword. <laughs> and go that distance. I don't know about you. No, oh, this is why she couldn't come in. Greetings! Spiders galore, holy crap. That's it for this 
spiders. A good one. Celine's handmaidens. The ones that finish each other's sentences? Yes, I did. They were asking me about you. Personal things. Uh, how personal? Something about your chest hair. And whether you were currently involved with anyone. Huh. Creepy. My man Varric. Still one of the best characters. I need some spider icker for some anti-venom requisition. I don't know why they would need it on the coast. I, I knew that there were things, but who really gave a shit? I certainly didn't. Uh, at any rate, what is over here? Uh, let's see. Ooh. Oh, here's the wedding ring. Huh. If this is the wedding ring, what's in here? Find a key to the door. Uh, let's see. I wonder where it is. Charge, charge, shards, shards. Oh, pff, oh boy! <laughs> Literally the whole map. Okay. I don't give a shit enough. Venatori outside. That's what the map's indicating. Yep, Venatori fighting hyenas. Is that what those are? Yeah, it was a hyena. What's up? underneath me and it really doesn't matter if I fall down and die because I can just res. <laughs> Who needs fall damage? What do you want? I believe this is yours. Nothing here is worth as much as this. It's all I have left. I don't have much. But this opens okay. one of my old caches. Whatever's left is yours. As thanks. Okay. Guess that's the uh, that's the reward is for that um, the thing. Mm -hmm. So we'll go over there and pick it up, just for completion's sake. <laughs> then we'll pick up the final cold um, one, and we'll move on to the hissing wastes, and then we'll do final boss. Which we are easily more than ready at this point, right now. Um, but obviously, again, I just want to show you guys the rest of the game. Alright, let's see what's in here. Um, that's actually... Ooh, plus 10% damage bonus, plus 100% damage from all sorts. That's pretty good, actually. Hmm. Neato. Alright, let's head out. Now this cold endured is somewhere over here. I do like the, uh, the, the general feel of this zone, how it is obviously an oasis. I think, um, 
three zones are pretty much desert. I I count this one as a desert, obviously. But um, you know, it's nice to have like a different feel. I will say that none of the zones at all in this game, and this this is good work on Bioware for this. None of them, with perhaps the sole exception of the Exalted Plains, uh, are very rep uh, repetitive. Each of them seems very unique. Oh boy, I didn't mean to do this. No fall damage then, okay. <laughs> I don't know if, I think it's this direction, right? Here we are, back in the the place, my dudes. Of course, we could also get the spirit resistance, but I don't. That's really only worth it, really, for mages. Well, the rest of this is pretty much worth it for um, every other character. Howdy. money here, because, you know, why not? I would love my money. And that doesn't matter. Alright, what's in here? Alright, pass it on to me, my dude. Sweet. Here we go. We now have extra cold resistance. <laughs> the, the end. So, that's pretty much this zone. It's Obviously, it's nice to have those shards be worth something uh, rather than just purely a collectible, kind of like how the murals are. I mean, you know, you get to see the murals, but they're, again, not really worth it. Well, here, um, obviously, it's it, it at least provides some benefit. I can't say really whether or not it's worth it to waste your time on that. Um, especially at the end game level I am at, uh, level 22, I believe. Yeah, level 22. It's not particularly worth it, and I don't really think the spirit area is worth it for non-mages. But, I mean, it's at least nice that it's worth something, I just don't know if it's worth it. That's the thing. Um, but yeah, that's basically the Forbidden Oasis. The only extremely tough enemy is the giant, which we pretty much destroyed. And I think this is the only zone, to my knowledge, without a dragon. So uh, there's there's that. Uh, it's it's a very I, I have to say this is probably one of the more unique zones. It's very aesthetically pleasing. Like look at this. This is this, this is just beautiful. Wouldn't you guys love to live here? It's probably got like a very you know tropical feel, pretty warm, which I want to want more of. <laughs> Just in life, you know? Can't stand the cold anymore. Anyway, that's a Forbidden Oasis. Um, we can now move on to the Hissing Wastes, which we haven't visited yet. I don't know, again, how much time I'm going to spend here. I know, without a doubt, uh, I'm going to kill the dragons here, but uh, everything else, eh. It, I, the thing I do like about the Forbidden, or the Hissing Wastes, is that this zone is very open. It's open. You do pretty much have to use your horse uh, in this particular zone, so it's actually uh, worth it. And I also like how it's a very nighttime atmosphere, um, and you're in the middle of a desert, and it's just wide and open-ranging. It's it's definitely a very beautiful zone. And it, it gives off the feeling of you know, you're the, the lone wanderer in this whole vast desert. Um... It's, it's, I really like this song. <laughs> and, um, yeah, 
Here we go. Here we go. That was a quick loading screen. Any luck charting the area? I did what I could, Your Worship. This space has nothing but space. If there's nothing valuable here, I say let Corypheus have it. <sighs> I'm sure there's something deadly and enchanted and so on underneath all this sand. I did find something for you. Old dwarven ruins on the surface. Impossible, but there you go. The Red Templars are digging them out with Venatori supervision. Whatever they want, we must beat them to it. I just saw Red Templars heading northwest to here. They might be a good start. I found this map on a dead one. Maybe it shows where they're headed. Good luck. A sketch of Four Pillar Tomb. Tome, tomb, eh. Anyway. Word for you. Shut up, I don't care. And there is one, um, yeah, this place is pretty big. There is one particular area. We are, I might, might, might do this. There's one, um, I believe only one merchant. And, uh, he's located in, like, uh, I don't know how to say this. It's kind of, he's located in, like, a ravine. And I remember him selling really good schematics. So yeah, and we can see the moon in the distance. I don't, I don't know if that's in the uh, Roche limit. I don't know if that could physically be possible, unless of course we're really small, and that is um, the planet we're orbiting. I don't think that's the case, but uh, yeah. This, yeah, just I like the look of this area. It's it's very pretty. Gives off a very ancient, old kind of Saharan. Um, well, I guess technically a little bit sub-Saharan. It's more like the, um, the, uh, not the vistas of Africa, but the, uh, Sahara? Is that what it's called? No, savanna. That's the word. This, this area is like a savanna while this is the desert. It's it's very, I, I like this. I don't know why many games don't actually utilize this kind of environment. Um, let me rephrase that. Uh, sun stop mountains. Are those lights in the distance? They may be campfires. Let's have a look. Um. Where was I? <laughs> yeah. Obviously, in terms of the Elder Scrolls, which we all know I play a lot of, uh, we haven't had any sort of um design like this uh, in the games proper. Which is really why I'm hoping the next game takes place in either elsewhere. Uh. Hammerfell. I think both of those could be fantastic areas. I I just love the sand dunes and just this whole savanna area. It's very beautiful with the whole huge rock formations in the distance. There's a lot of, you know, like gameplay possibilities that they could work in there. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But it certainly is extraordinarily beautiful and very unique because, again, not many fantasy games, particularly medieval fantasy games. Uh, utilize this kind of environment. But it is very pretty. But yeah, this zone is very um, devoid of many enemies. They're all pretty much, with some exceptions, located in the camps. Um, look over yonder. Um... And there's a big fort, I think, right here or here. I forget whether it's Venatori or something else. But um, I think we will go there. For sure. Um, but the main purpose why we're here is to kill dragons. There's a camp over yonder. Uh, that's a Fade Rift. Actually, I want to find out what the level on the enemies are here. Hopefully it's not too low. Okay, 19. That's not bad. Again, we would probably be about level 20, I think, if um, we didn't kill those three dragons um, in El Prix de Lyon. Oh, hello! Oh, 
tried. Get roasted. Ow. That wasn't cool. So, not, not horribly underleveled. Like the previous zone. I think that's the Venatori camp we're supposed to search. If I remember correctly. Oh, well, we'll be searching that camp over yonder next time. Thank you all for watching.